Hey sweet babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you like fragrance, makeup, skincare, real people, and real talk, definitely subscribe to my channel. So today we're gonna be talking about some fragrances in my collection that I really don't care for. I mean, they are right. Some of them I do not like at all. Some of them, they just alike. But you know, I'm definitely not in love with any of these fragrances. I don't know if maybe one day I will be, but as of right now, <laughs> Yes or no, ma'am. First, we're going to talk about one that's new to my collection, which is going to shock a lot of you because this is like one of the fan faves across the frag community. And it's Passive Soir by BDK. This is new to my collection, and it wasn't a blind buy. When I first smelled the decan that I got from a girl, Jessica Trim, I liked it. I was like, oh, this smells amazing. Like, I know, I see why everybody loves it. Then some months and months and months <laughs> went by, and I smelled it again. And I smelled something a little strange, but I was like, oh, okay, maybe my decan went back bad, but I know that when I first smelled it, I really liked it. So I ordered a full bottle, and the full bottle smells like the decant the second time and not the first time. So it has a note in there that I think is not vibing with me, which is quince. I think that's the note that's not vibing with me, but I don't know. I have to really wear it. Like, so I, this to me is like fruity and other than that note i really like it so i feel like this is something i definitely will have to try out in the spring summer or something like that um to see if i really like it so i'm gonna just let it sit for a minute and i like everything about it except that one little note it's crazy how one little note will just make the fragrance just mm -mm, you just you just don't want to deal with it so i don't know how i'm gonna feel about this but i did tell y'all when i um, purchased it that i'm definitely gonna give it a chance a full you know wear and i'm gonna wear it like a few times to really really feel it out and see if my mind changes with passasoir and i'm really hoping that it does the next fragrance is hayati by atar collection i have four of these this and this is the one that i like the least and i thought it was one of the ones that i would like the most if you look at the nose the ice cream the whipped cream the fruit the honey the plum the floral like i felt like this was going to be an amazing fragrance and it's just not that the fruits are there you get a slight creaminess but the fruits are so ripened that they smell like when a fruit is so ripe that it's like smushy and you know what i mean like it's been sitting in the sun and it's smushy that's kind of how it smells when it dries down it starts to smell better but it's so sweet and almost cloying to where it gives you a headache that is so sweet like it's not as creamy as i thought it was going to be because of that it's literally got a note of ice cream like girl but though it's just the fruits the fruits are so prominent which is okay but it's just not balanced out with the creaminess the bottle is gorgeous and i'm gonna see how it wears more in the springtime this might even be a fruity fragrance for the winter because the fruits are so prominent that maybe the heat might be too much for it so we'll see but yeah the fruits are just so freaking ripened that they they smell like they almost going bad but we'll see i'm definitely going to give it more of a wear because i just wore it at home i didn't really wear it out and about but i i don't know i don't know i just thought the the, the notes were just going to blend better and it's not giving me what i thought royal amber by orientica so i guess this is supposed to well not i guess i had a decant of herba pure and this is a dupe for herba pure i'm not even a fan of herba pure like i know y'all love herba pure and y'all just think it's like the bee's knees and all of that but i don't really care for it it's okay it's i, I don't hate it but i don't love it i didn't love it enough to want a full bottle of it and this smells pretty much just like herba pure it's got all the fruits in it it's got the um the melons the pineapples the fruity nose you've got amber in it vanilla and it's got all of that but the fruity notes are just like how they are in hayati it's like they're so concentrated and so thick it's and ripened it's they're like almost too sweet to where they smell smushy and like they going bad like i know y'all could pick up the vision that i'm describing when i say that and yeah this i just mm. out of all the orientica fragrances that i have this is my least favorite i don't know and and i like the the tropicalness that it gives the tropical vibe that it gives so we'll see how it works out when it gets warmer outside but when I want something, you know, tropical and fruity or whatever, I never have been wanting to reach for this. So we'll see how it goes. 
I'll definitely give it more of a chance as it warms up. But right now, I'm like, mm, I don't really want this. So I'm like, I damn sure ain't finna pay no top dollar for Urban Pura. This is one that I have been giving so much shine on my channel lately. And it's only because I don't like it. And it is rosé all day. Like, I do not like this fragrance. All the notes are there. Like, all the notes are there. Except that stainless steel just completely messes up the fragrance for me. I don't know why they made the stainless steel so prominent in here. But it gives it like a metal. It definitely gives it the metallic-y smell. It, it's like you have a beautiful perfume with just metal floating in the bottom of it. It's like you found a treasure in the bottom of the freaking ocean. And it's just been sitting there. And that metal is just... Mm, mm, mm. I, I, mm -mm. I've been wondering like what I could layer with this to make it better to make it like take that mineralness out of it like it just I don't know it's a pretty strong fragrance like it don't want to go nowhere it stays on your skin pretty long and it's like dang it would be one that you know has good projection and all of that and I don't even like it so and I don't know what to do with it my man don't want it so Y'all, how am I going to get rid of this? Because I don't even want to spray it. I tried to spray it on my bed and was like, mm-mm, mm-mm. That, that metal is just a mess. This one might shock y'all, but I think I've come around to it. I think I like it now. And the only reason why I like it is because of the body um, routine that I did with it. So this is Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli. I know y'all is like loving this. And to me... It's definitely better than it was when I first got it. When I first got it, the patchouli was so strong that it was giving me like a peppermint vibe. Like it was giving peppermint. And it's still slightly in there, but it's definitely better. Like the vanilla is giving more vanilla now. It's better, but I don't like that pepperminty smell that the patchouli is giving me. So I paired it with the cookie butter um, body butter by Skin Potion and whew, that combo was amazing. To be honest, the body butter took over <laughs> fragrance it absolutely did like that's what I smelled the most but it made this more of the creme brulee that I was looking for that is why I liked it so I can't see me now using this without that because I just feel like they go hand in hand so this is okay I, this is not a hate um but it's not a love either it's not like one of my favorite um K. Ali fragrances I wasn't going to talk about this fragrance because it's discontinued but I was like I've got to let the girls know that I really don't care for it and I don't know what everybody else was smelling when they had the fragrance um but this is lipstick on by replica this is a very plasticky no not plasticky very waxy lipstick fragrance so when people were describing it they were saying how it smells like you know like lipstick and like a cosmetic you know um like a compact and how the powder smelled in the compact and i love that type of smell like poudre narciso poudre like that powdery smell that that gives like i really enjoy that and even narciso rouge gives you like a powdery maybe lipsticky type of vibe but this one is giving old lipstick this is giving lipstick from the from the hair store or the dollar store or something this is giving waxy old lipstick i don't know if it's just because my bottle is old because it was discontinued like i don't know but the people that have that they are obsessed with that fragrance and this is just not giving me that it's just not i don't know why um i don't hate it i won't say i hate it because i don't hate it i still get the lipsticky vibe it's like a a cherry lipstick accord type of smell but the waxiness is really strong at the beginning um this probably would also go good with poudre you know what i'm saying layering it with that i'm gonna try that but there's definitely a very plasticky note on the top and that waxy note and i don't like it the last two are two that i recently did reviews on so i'll leave those up in the cards or down in the description box for y'all and this is black opium the new la parfum now i told y'all in that video that it has so many vanilla notes that I was super excited because I wanted it to be a sickeningly sweet vanilla. Like, I really did. It has like four or five different vanillas in it. I wanted all the vanilla, okay? I wanted it to give Vanilla 28 a whole run for that her money, and it's, it does not. It does not. It's cute. Um, I feel like since I've had it, and I've had it for two, three, three weeks maybe, and I feel like it has gotten sweeter. 
um which i said in the video that i felt like this was something that had to sit because vanilla does get better over time it really does and a lot of times you do have to buy a fragrance that's vanilla based spray it and then sit it to the side for like three months and come back to it and you'd be like oh this is good you know what i'm saying so i felt like this was one that needed to sit because of the vanilla in it and i can say the longer i've had it the sweeter it's gotten and i did decide to keep it for that reason because i just felt like it was getting better and better but it's still not blowing my socks off it's still one that i would just wear around the house or i wear it to bed or something like that but this or layer it with something maybe but this isn't like the vanilla of all vanillas like i expected it to be so yeah black opium y'all did the la parfum with the libre you you hit the nail on the head but this one you missed and last is on a day by replica so i just did a video on this one and i said i'm gonna keep this one because i want to wear it in the summer because the memory of it is based in the summertime and i want to wear it in the summer um but when i first got this fragrance it was so green and mossy and that divana and that vetiver was giving like you've been on a date with somebody in the summertime in the sun and bruh bruh done got musty bruh bruh stank and i'm ready to go home like and I, mm -mm. So it was giving musty, that vetiver and that divana was just pulling musty. And I didn't know why it was so green. It was so green. I'm like, where's the, the wine and the roses and all this stuff that's supposed to be in here? You know, the black currant and all, where is all of that? Like all I was getting was greenness. But every day I just kept spraying and kept spraying and kept spraying. And I'm like, what is going on? So as the days went on, it has been getting better. Now I'm getting more of the rose. I'm getting that black currant syrup. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting still getting the vetiver and the divana, but it's not as strong. Um, and I was really surprised with this fragrance because, like I said, it took me on a journey because one minute it sent, smelled super feminine, but then um, another minute it smelled masculine. And that this is in the same day. I was like, why am I smelling two different fragrances? I was really smelling two different fragrances. So. But it smells more feminine, like the black currant syrup and the rose. That smelled really good to me. That smelled pretty and feminine and all of that. And you get the, I think it's bergamot, it's something citrusy in there too. So that, um, you know, I like that. But when it got to the, the male side where it was like mossy and vetiver and divana and real green, and I ain't like that so much. So we gonna see how this works more as it sits and when we get to the summertime and how that's gonna work. Um, yeah, but this is just okay. I like it, but I I, I, I kind of like it, but I definitely don't love it. So y'all, those are fragrances in my collection that I either don't like at all or I like them, but I just haven't grown to love them yet. So hopefully some of these do grow on me and I just completely fall in love with them because they are in my collection. If not, you know, I'll find a way to use it up. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what fragrances are in your collection. You either don't like them at all or you like them, but they can, they can go. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, share, and of course subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.